Hey guys, welcome back to podcast nine and three quarters. I'm your host, the Half-Blood Princess. In this video, I'm going to talk about a theory on Nagini's fate and how she ended up with Lord Voldemort. But before I get started, if you love Harry Potter as much as I do, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Nagini's fate is more than likely linked to Credence Barebones' story. In Secrets of Dumbledore, we find out Credence's true identity as Aurelius Dumbledore, Aberforth's long-lost son. When Credence reunites with his father Aberforth, Credence is already dying because of the Obscurus curse. Credence leaves Grindelwald and goes to live with his family for his remaining time. Even though it may not be much time, Nagini is more than likely going to visit. At the end of the second Fantastic Beast movie, Credence leaves Nagini in Paris and goes to follow Grindelwald in an attempt to find out who he really is. Nagini didn't appear in Fantastic Beasts 3, most likely because of the actress Claudia Kim's pregnancy amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. But this also makes sense in-universe because she couldn't have come close to Grindelwald without putting herself in grave danger. Also, it's likely that Nagini felt abandoned by Credence. After all, they had escaped the circus together and were each other's closest friends when Grindelwald manipulated Credence into coming with him. However, at the end of Fantastic Beasts 3, Credence reunites with his father and goes home with him, even though he's in a very weak state. I think if there were going to be a Fantastic Beasts 4, there would be a storyline of Nagini finding Credence and trying to find a cure for his curse. Though Dumbledore already said he can't be saved, meaning that eventually Credence will die, which will no doubt upset Nagini and bring more into focus her own maledictus curse that will cause her to permanently become a snake. This all adds to her pain, leaving Nagini in a state of mind that will be easy for Tom Riddle to manipulate. According to Harry Potter canon, Nagini met Voldemort sometime before 1994, possibly in Albania, which is where Voldemort murders Bertha Jorkins in order to turn Nagini into a horcrux. Peter Pettigrew also extracts her venom to keep Voldemort alive between the Sorcerer's Stone and the Goblet of Fire, showing how important Nagini becomes to Voldemort. Voldemort develops a telepathic connection with Nagini, even possessing her to attack people such as Arthur Weasley. Overall, no one knows exactly how Nagini ends up as Voldemort's closest ally. Evidently, something happened between the time of her joining Newt and the events of Harry Potter that pushed her to the dark side. It's likely that Nagini spent a considerable amount of time transformed into a snake without knowing other people. So it makes sense that she eventually created a strong bond with Lord Voldemort, who was able to talk to snakes. I do hope that we get more to Nagini's backstory somewhere, somehow in the future to let us know what really happened between Fantastic Beasts 3 and the Harry Potter series. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below and be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, love you. Bye.